Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with MC legend, John Rawling. How are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. All right. Good, good. I've always, I've always wanted to speak to you, so I thought, yeah, let's, let's get some words. How are you feeling about the uh, event, Selby Warrington? How do you think that's, uh, that's going to go? Well, the weather's going to be good, which is, which is a relief. Uh, and I think on paper, it's got all the makings of a terrific fight. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's the stylist who is, who is Selby against a man who has trained incredibly hard for this in Josh Warrington, who I think has got the style to make things awkward for, for Lee. You know, Lee's a big favourite with the bookies, and I guess arguably justifiably so. But I do really honestly think that Josh Warrington has the sort of style that can give him a lot of problems. And I'm anticipating a fight which, in all probability, is going to go the distance. And I think that it's going to be tight. I don't think there's going to be much in it one way or the other. Yeah, because I was speaking to some people about the fight. And initially, most people think Selby's got this slickness and Warrington's going to be sort of rushing and pressuring. But Warrington does box as well, doesn't he? It's not, it's not just a case of coming forward blindly. He's got, he does well, box a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, if people think that Josh Warrington's just about come forward durability, pressure and aggression and nothing else, it's selling the guy short. He's a better fighter than that. And Lee Selby, as I say, technically very, very talented. Quick hands, he's the taller man and he'll try and fight at range. But he also likes to take little breaks in rounds. You know, he likes to, he likes to switch off. He doesn't like to, doesn't like to fight three minutes of every round. And I don't <coughs> think Josh is gonna allow him that, that latitude to just take those little breathers. I think he's going to be in his face and making him fight three minutes of every round. And that's why I think it's a really good fight. And what are your thoughts on um, O'Hara Davis coming back to uh, Box Nation slash Frank Warren BT Sport? Do, do you think, uh, ha, what did you honestly think? Did you think we've got a bit of a firecracker with him coming back? He's going to be controversial for us or <laughs> so you're laughing? <laughs> well, he's, he, he's a talker, isn't he? Yeah. He says, he says what he thinks and he doesn't hold back. I think, I think it's good. I think it's going to be fun. You know, with Jack Catterall in the same division, uh, who's, who's stepping up a level, Terry Flanagan there as well, I think that uh, it's got a lot going for it there. I think O'Hara is a talented fighter. You know, he's, he, he sparks reaction. He's controversial. Whether you like him or loathe him, you certainly notice him. And I think he's a good addition to the, uh, to the Box Nation and uh, BT Sport Frank Warren stable. Speaking of which, what are your thoughts on the big sort of uh, Box Nation slash BT Sport uh, merger and join. What, what, what does it mean for the fans? Because some people are a little bit, oh, are we going to get Frank Warren fighters on Box Nation? And I spoke to Francis and he said, you, you guys are going to um, make an announcement with regards to uh, will we still see Frank Warren fighters on Box Nation? But overall, for the fans, what do you think this means? Uh, you know, you guys joining up with BT Sport. Well, where it's going to go exactly in the months, years ahead, I'm not exactly sure. But I do think that the arrival of BT Sport allied to Box Nation has been very, very good for boxing in this country. You know, I mean, you know, you follow it. Yeah. Boxing at this stage is in a healthier place in this country than arguably any stage great, in my broadcast yeah, career. Good. You know, I mean, I've been doing this for over 30 years and I think that it's probably better now than it's ever been. You know, you look elsewhere in the world and we're doing it as well as anybody. And I think that, uh, I think that the fact that uh, BT Sport and Box Nation are allied with Frank, it obviously gives a different power base to what's going on with Sky and Eddie Hearn. But, you know, I mean, competition is good in any environment for sport, in, a, in any sort of business environment. Hmm. And I think, that, I think that boxing's in a great place at the moment. Do you feel that with regards to the $1 billion sort of Eddie Hearn deal, you think overall it's just good competition, it gets everybody... Uh, well, well that's, about, that's about America. You know, that's the, that's the, the United States and how that's going to pan out in uh, you know, months ahead remains to be seen. But it's exciting that somebody's going over to the States actually saying, yeah, you know, we're the British and we do it best and we're going we're gonna to take it to you. You know, Bob Arum, uh, Golden Boy, etc., cetera, have, uh, have held sway over there for an awful long time. And maybe the time is right to get some new blood in there. And finally, when you started um, your MC career, I was a little boy, eight <laughs> years old, running around. 
Do you still love it? Do you still have oh, a passion for it? And any tips for aspiring commentators? No, I, I, absolutely I love it. I mean, I wouldn't do it if I didn't still enjoy it. This is, this is, this is what, you know, as a broadcaster, turns me on. You are still you the know. smooth voice, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, but I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Whether or not I'm the smooth voice <laughs> is for other people to decide. But I, I, just, I just love it. And boxers, I think, are, are some of the most honest and uh, likeable guys in sport, in any sport. And I love being a part of it, still do, and I hope I continue to do so for many years. John Rawling, thank you for giving me your time. I know you've got stuff to do. Thank you for speaking to Wingy Boxing and IFL TV. Thank you. My, my pleasure.